Whoa! Wait, pain of a junk food junkie? What a whimsical opening to yeah. <laughs> someone being murdered. So, let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get to the street like, to the point like that. Otherwise, how would this game last 10,000 hours? <laughs> the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. Okay, moving you on. My family. <laughs> and no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. <laughs> and no matter what it takes, I will milk it. <laughs> <laughs> it's as bloated as a cow's sexy udder. What? <laughs> Did the fifth floor open up? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my We've never been. God. Have we been? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Whoa, look at that. I hope it's not anything too creepy. Okay. Yeah. What could be creepy about a situation in which eight of our friends have been killed <laughs> in the last three days? Oh, hello. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, wh what the hell is this? And I hadn't done. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. I mean, no, that's the way- If you didn't want it done, this never would have happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Yeah, like my body. <clears throat> yep, let me give you an itty bitty eeggy squeegee little hint. <laughs> eeggy <laughs> squeegee, Aaron. Oh, I've never heard that before. Uh, as far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Um, Byakuya, what about what Monokuma just told us? It's like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. <laughs> it's just like a little thought bubble comes up and it's, it's like, a, like a bear getting hit on the head with a mallet. Like, yeah. boink! <laughs> boink! If you shit in a bowl of Rice Krispies, do they go snap, crackle, poop? <laughs> did, you just, did you just come up with that? Yeah, man. <laughs> Hashtag just Byakya things. <laughs> there are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? One. How many gingerbread men were killed here? What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? <laughs> if you poop into a bowl of rice krispies. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, you just said something. I can't say anything. But, <laughs> but those are words! Kyoku narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera, as if to tell me something. But what? What is it about the camera? <laughs> you understand why, right? The camera? <laughs> she was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. So maybe we should go to the- Makoto is like saying this out loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to know what Kyoko has to tell me about this secret person, Ikusaba. Ooh, uh, what is this? This thing is super. And more importantly, can I sit on it? <laughs> By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even paper! So it's totally good for the environment. Spouting more and more nonsense, oh. Monokuma eventually disappeared. I missed him a little bit. I hope he freaking dies. Nah, he's cool. It's a chicken. Doesn't have like a second form, right? What? It's a chicken. It's really alive. It's a chicken. It really is right. Like, I could say that for sure. Well, yeah, but you're making me doubt it with all I your know. questions. It's a chicken. It's not expected to be fed like humans, is it? It's a chicken. <laughs> I gotta poop. Awesome. It's not gonna, like, lay a bomb, is it? Alright, that was really helpful. You're not a little kid, right? You're too old to be running through sprinklers anyway. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? What's it? <laughs> Why does it have to be one or the other? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. I like going out in the rain sometimes. I'm gonna tell everyone! Ah! <laughs> Alright, yeah. Joke's on him. I wet the bed till I was in fifth grade. <laughs> He's gonna tell everyone about my water fetish! This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me! It's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Also, I would cream anybody's volleyball for really doing that. Besides, don't be a sourpuss. <laughs> yeah. Your best friend here died, like, 13 yeah. hours ago. Don't be such a negative Nancy in the murder school. My concern is with the bib lab. Bio lab. <laughs> Sorry. 
My concern is with the Bib Lab. <laughs> that was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. I'm a messy eater, so it's troubling that I wasn't able to get in. <laughs> the Bib Lab, huh? I mean, by the fuck. <laughs> what are you gonna use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a, a, a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. Don't no, no, no compare to her. I did nothing like her. I'll kill you. I don't know. I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. Ugh. I can barely get my hands around it. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? We all trust you for no reason, huh? Me? <laughs> yeah, you're the ultimate clueless dumbass. <laughs> you made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? 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 Did Master just praise me? Make a few. <laughs> I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. Uh, that would never. I would never. That I would never. That I would. <clears throat> let me start over. Ah, Aaron, take a breath. That I would ever experience such a dream. Ah, ah, I feel so strange. Ah, so strange. Really, really strange. Oh no. Ah, Can we put this on the internet? <laughs> well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words "crazy diamond" have been carved into the handle. Haven't? As if it wanted me to shine on. <laughs> Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Oh. It was on Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy diamond. <laughs> so what is it you want to figure out? 10 plus 10. That question you asked earlier? Can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Kyoko's identity. Huh? She's the ultimate mystery. <laughs> I have no memory of what I I'm have. the ultimate amnesiac. <laughs> Yeah, that's... I did not see that coming. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? So you have no intention of telling us? Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. I have to kill <laughs> you. Give me the key to your room. <laughs> Byakuya, that's not how you do it, man. <laughs> yeah. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and said... And held out a room key to him. Did, did, did I read that wrong? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I don't know why. Yeah. Hella. We are losing our yeah. minds. You, how long have you been standing there? I'm very, very angry! Angry at what? I'm the thief! Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your midst! Duh. Ding, 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 dong. <laughs> Who could it possibly be? As I open my eyes, I realize I've fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear... The ding dong doorbell? K -k 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 Kyoko! I saw this. <gasps> a key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. Okay. <sighs> what? You snuck into the headmaster's room, but wasn't it locked? So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? She did that. For us. Sakura. Do you have <laughs> fucking biscuits in your ears, dude? <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> I just I just imagine he's like he's like Blair witching it in the corner, just like staring at the wall. She, Sakura, she did this for us. She did it. She fights. Sakura. <laughs> it's like, dude, are you okay, man? She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. The only question is, who did she do it for? <laughs> did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Makuro is Ikusaba is dangerous. D dangerous Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't! That's way too dangerous! And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? You spend all your time trying to avoid danger. You'll never move forward. Oh. Apparently a very important line. Wow, she line. basically just said, fucking, grow a pair. <laughs> and Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What's this? It was her AI chip. <laughs> Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it... 
if something ever happens to me. No, no, don't anything happen to her, yeah. please. That's what Sakura said, and she was dead within the hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here, I've got a bone to pick with you. Then a few minutes later. Monokuma, well, well, this is a surprise, you being the one to call me out. You told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? <laughs> Listen, I'm- I'm sure this is a silly question, no way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be a hundred megaton friggin' kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or... Ursine breeding tips? Oh, this is just crazy. Are all pu prepubescent bo- are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? What the God, you're so annoying! Fine, I'll tell you, it was a key! And beep! That's it! What was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. It's secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours! Probably all squiggly and mushy. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open your skull and find out! Whoa. Oh, Sakura. What the fuck? Go for it. Go for it, girl. What are you waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. Of course, if enough people buy dog and run... A super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development. But it'll start back up if Danganronpa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends! Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Well... Wow. Pretty bold to do that, like, fucking 30 hours into the game. <laughs> Well, I mean, hey, I guess they figure anyone who's come this far probably likes yeah. it. Kyoko! Gah, are you alive? Gah. Yeah, seriously. This is always the question, like, who shows nope. up? No! You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? D do you know where she is? Hmm, well, it's hard to say. Huh? You don't know either? Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. I mean, shit! I should have been thinking that part! But somewhere even Monokuma <laughs> wouldn't notice? Where could it be? As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I just needed to fart real bad. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. I was restless. <laughs> what a revelation. <laughs> At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal is to get out of here. Oh. Just stay here. What? I don't understand. Huh? What? What in the world? Just stay here. Ah, it's probably just my Stockholm syndrome. Anyway, I woke up. Ah. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Oh, are we are we dying right I don't now? Know. What's happening? G g g g oh. <laughs> what in the world? Mm -hmm. Nintendo? What did you say? What? The? Gosh dang it! Fuck! So confusing! Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Fuck her mother! Any dead bodies in the room? Took longer than usual for me to open my eyes on account of me dying. Huh. Yeah, what the heck? Let out a deep sigh to bring myself up to the rest of the way. Chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweet. Huh? All of a sudden, I was awake. <laughs> yes, we remember when this happened. Two seconds ago. In a chocolate cake, I did bake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were... Holding a knife. Could you imagine how long it would take to do anything if everyone recapped what they just oh my God. said and saw? So true. I opened the desk drawer and. Huh? <gasps> it's empty! There's nothing inside! Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in there! Wait, that means. Oh the knife! God. I should head to the Great. dining hall. Then I could talk to everyone else about it. 
But first, maybe one more recap. <laughs> yeah. I remember there was a person with a knife hovering above my body. I was like, what? And the person was like, Ugh. And I was like, duh. And everything was like, huh. Anyway, I woke the up and- came out of left field? <laughs> yeah. I woke up and I tried to recap what happened to me. <laughs> Everyone was there besides Kyoko, and then I noticed they formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was. What the?! Before I could catch myself, I'd cried out. Whoa. Whoa, damn! Didn't expect that. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. The smartest of us was working on his mechanics. <laughs> I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. Like a Furby that hasn't learned Furbish yet? Hmm. <laughs> I... Are you serious? So immediately I initiated the dis this the dis the dis the, dis <laughs> the breakdown process. It was masters. It's a stroke of genius. A chance to. F I just straight up Porky Pig that line. <laughs> <laughs> it's my chance to dis 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 break apart. I just found something. What is it? It's bomb like, and it looks like a bomb. It's got a timer like a bomb would have, and it explodes like a bomb. <laughs> It's... Any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> Motion sensor for serious? Oh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? And man's are supposed to explode. Yeah, big, big, strong, tough, explodable man. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, 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 uh. You're so <laughs> not fine. You're all... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now to try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity. We're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Really? Ah, the light bulb just went off! That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe! Alright, we've solved one mystery, that means there's just one more mystery left! One more mystery? Yup, now we need to figure out the identity of Object X! A corpse! Oh no! That's right, I found a corpse in the garden! No, not Kyoko, please, God, no. <laughs> God, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you found a corpse in oh, the garden? Oh, man. Okay. Well, last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're a dead man. Where Do they think whoever plays this game gets hit on the head every 30 minutes and forgets everything they've seen? Yeah. Let's just tear the mask clean off! Come on. Wait, don't. <laughs> that would be too easy. That wouldn't be hilarious. <laughs> By the time he called out, right. it was already too late. Toko's hand shot toward the mask. Thank God. And in the next instant... Yeah, right. Whoa! Whoa! It was a Whoa! It was a blinding light, a deafening roar. The body blew up. It 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 blew up. Hurry up. Put out the fire. As my I'm already bored. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there's no way. The mastermind got char broiled. Get serious. Get bigger hands. <laughs> I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have no reason to uh, but I do uh, I have reason to believe it may be true. Woof. Remember what Alter Ego said? That's you, bud. Oh, so that, that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. Sorry, it, it took me a while to remember the voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same voice as every other girl. Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, M Mukuru, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, none of this makes any sense to just suddenly show up and then die. That's fucking rude. <laughs> This was on the ground near the body, but it doesn't look anything like the Monokuma key. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking I, about, do you? That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... So in other words... The Bib Lab, the Data Center, the Headmaster's Room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. Click! Fence. Yeah! Then this is the key to the Data Center. I've managed to unlock the Data Center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden and didn't go into the data center that I just unlocked. Yeah, jeez. So, you're back. What was the data center like? Tell me everything. Yeah. Oh, it was Ooh. Monokuma. Ooh, look at this. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. You're a fucking genius, Byakuya. 
to watch us? That's what cameras do? <laughs> then this room is. Yes, to watch us. The, mas <laughs> the mastermind's private room, without a doubt. That was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. Then the mastermind is dead, like really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. For serious? It would seem so. <laughs> it's too bad they had to go. It would seem so. <laughs> too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill himself. The mastermind is dead? Could that really it be true? It would seem so. <laughs> Shut up! Does this mean it's all over? <laughs> uh, never just, whatever. I mean, they're Aaron? absolutely everywhere. <laughs> How many cameras does this place have anyway? I was trying to think of like- I guess that means whoever the mastermind is was expecting us to break in here eventually. Oh. Interesting. Unless they were surveying themselves. Can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about so it isn't hot. gonna do me any good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Huh? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. My trick? What kind of trick? Oh, Actually. God. I'm not sure, but oh, zoinks! <laughs> How you supposed to be dead? <laughs> Me dead? Don't be freaking stupid! Ooh, 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 look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Ugh, oh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Whoa, what? really? What? All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries, even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience, to show them true despair like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of a despair-based production! Ding dong ding, ding dong ding dong. Oh, not a bing bong. Oh, somebody's dead. Oh, because the body was discovered. Yeah. yeah. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. No. Figure out who killed Kyoko? No! What? But if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer? That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. It looks really familiar, but I can't yeah, place it. Yeah, so when you were, you, you were supposed to be taking care of it yeah. to protect everyone. That's it! It's the knife that person was holding, but where did they get it? <laughs> oh my god. There's so, too many strange coincidences. What, that there was a knife and someone took it and then stabbed someone with it? How is that yeah, a coincidence pretty... and not just a series of events? And if this really is Kyoko, it would mean Kyoko is the one that attacked me. Why the mask? Yeah, and why was she standing alive after the person in the mask attacked you? Yeah. Is he gonna like shout and say, it was me, I did it! And everyone's like, what? <laughs> and, and then you run away and simultaneously yell like, he's making a break for it! And then you tackle yourself. <laughs> Is this a tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but looks like it's a picture of a dog or something. <laughs> I like dogs. Woof woof. Hey everybody. What were we doing again? <laughs> What's going on, Makoto? Oh, dude, Hero's gonna lose be so one of your fucking, fucking chickens. <laughs> He's gonna lose his mind when he finds out there's not five chickens anymore. What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Oh my god. Yep, that's our hero. I'm the only one without an alibi, so that's really bad, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Nice. So this is Kyoko's room. I love what she's done with the place. Yeah, here's the bathroom. She might have certain articles hanging out to dry. I better not look inside. Uh, she might be dead. Yeah, I mean, let's just let's go, I guess. Try to help her out, man. What's in the envelope? What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Interesting. Does a corpse exploding count as something happening? Under the sheets. Oh. That's all that was in there? Yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets, what could it be? I a guess new I'll album look. from Ninja Sex Party. <laughs> yeah. Was <laughs> this? Found a crumpled up piece of paper. <gasps> it said, look in the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm caught in a loop! <laughs> the ultimate soldier. That's Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. Proper school life is built on the dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as the school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. It's about the one writing all the rules. They're actually one of the participants in this killing game. Oh, crap. I don't think I ever told you how many participants there actually were, did I? 
I was thinking I could probably clarify that. Hey, um... When you all first got together in the main hall way back when, there were 15 people there, right? God, look at how alive everyone is. I know. I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. That's right. There weren't actually 15 of you. The total number of students, students taking part in the killing game was actually 16! 16! Dang, dude. Then... <laughs> Take a poop with the Rice Krispies. <laughs> I want to get back at that sneaky Miss Carrie Gary, so I'm going to share a little secret with you. So seriously? You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in, day out all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. Ooh, so she might still be alive. Yeah. Ukuro is related to the case. Perhaps she's the one who killed Kyoko. What? Or she's the one... I... Yakya, are you stupid? That I'm telling you, he's the dumbest to... character in the entire game. I uh, guess I'll check the lock. Where, 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 where? You pan over Biaki is just tearing it up on like an electric guitar. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Click. The locker eagerly accepted the key and it opened. It's like, well, thank you. Whoa. There are, there are arrows in here. It looks like ten arrows in total. Strong sticks. <laughs> nice. Each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Like the back of their hand, for instance. <laughs> what? They got a tattoo of Fenrir? <sighs> that sounds completely unfamiliar to me. Wait! Could that mean... Nice. <laughs> oh man, I would love to secrete fear goo, dude. Where the heck are you, YouTube? You just disappeared in that word. It's difficult to form words when you're making out. <laughs> We were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by this point? Just Maybe you should launch an investigation into my investigation. <laughs> if it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. When we heard that voice, we all spun around to look. Hey. <laughs> like she comes up all wacky like Monokuma does. <laughs> I'm here, and no rule's been broken. <laughs> Kyoko's theme! <laughs> Kyoko! <laughs> Kyoko, are you still alive? Oh, that's right! We thought she might be dead! I right. forgot about that! <laughs> Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Without ever looking- Ugh, hate to see you go, but I love to watch you fade away. <laughs> I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then, when did you find out? So... Just now. And so, the curtain opened for the fifth time. Man, really keeping track, huh? A deadly yeah. judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly fate, a deadly I mean. class trial! Can I take a shit real quick? <laughs> no! <laughs> a deadly shit? <laughs> it's Kyoko! There's no other explanation! Oh god, hero. But Kyoko's standing right there. No! That's a ghost! Alright. <laughs> oh, oh, hero. <laughs> She has legs and stuff. She has oh, legs Hina. and arms and Another stuff. great contribution <laughs> yeah. from that side of the courtroom. So I just have to prove that the corpse is in Kyoko, right? And what? then we're, we're home free. <laughs> I mean, this is so <laughs> totally stupid. It's like, all right, I have to prove it's not Kyoko. Kyoko, can you help me with this? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, she wasn't. Come on. What the fuck? <laughs> How is that late? It hit the damn text! You saw! Then that's that. But is that really what we're going- we, Do we really have to discuss this any further? This like is- this is so strange. Unless there's a twist where Kyoko is the dead body, this is a, an incredibly weird <laughs> turn for this today. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid! Oops. Got it. No, you want? This is a tattoo! This is a tattoo in the back of the- <laughs> <laughs> They're like, dude, Makoto, calm down! <laughs> if I was- um, talking to someone, and I brought up, uh, an opinion or thought I had, and they just jumped up and were like, No! You're wrong! I'd be like, <laughs> I, I, I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. <laughs> They're like, I'm sorry, who's Mukuro Ikusaba? Oh, right! <laughs> I completely forgot to mention any of this. The Wolf of Ragnarok. He's the child of the trickster god, Loki. And a female giant. 
Ooh. Sound the horn of Gondor. Bring Rohan and Fenrir. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. I can't make Lord of the Rings references with you. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. Mukuro was just kind of chilling out. I shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. We don't know how depressed she was. Whip, yeah. whip, whip, whip. Maybe she's like the ultimate despair of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> the headmaster has nothing to do with it. What? But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. And you- now I think you're always wrong. Yeah. Was not wrong. Uncovering <laughs> the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. But know this. I have to take a wicked shit. And if we don't get out of here in 30 minutes, this floor is going to be covered in the brown stuff. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. I stake my family name on it. Also, I farted and it's a screamer. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably take 10 to 20 seconds to waft your way. <laughs> but know this, it will burn. It's like when, when you see someone's dating profile, and that's the profile picture on the right, and you're like, oh, I seem like a nice, normal person, and then you see them in real life, and you're like, oh, God! <laughs> What's with the teeth, dude? <laughs> Jeez! There must have been some kind of lighting or angles thing going on in that picture that made it look a lot less crazy looking. One of us killed Mukuro? Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down- Shut the up! Top. I was gonna say Kyoko, and this is the only option for Kyoko, so... Yeah, because she said this is the most important one for me. Yeah. Yeah! Me! And the other person I like! Shit! So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Um, why did I say that shit? <laughs> <laughs> did I do it? <laughs> I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Um, I think it's stupid, and we shouldn't yeah. think about it anymore. <laughs> I would like one. <laughs> <laughs> How much? I've got five bucks. The murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m. and I don't have an alibi from 10 p.m. to s until 7.30 a.m. Is it possible I went sleepwalking and then sleep stabbing? <laughs> I think that's possible. <laughs> no, you're wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just... shoot bullets at things until... <laughs> until something makes sense. They just all look like vibrators, like stacked up like that of different lengths. And I was like, Aaron, what kind of man are you? Are you sprinklers, uh, exploded body, or are you a real man who can take fragments near the dead body? <laughs> so if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such indecent words? Fuck. <laughs> 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 the mouth down south. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even Makoto's like, um. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I, I was, I, I was like stunned into silence. <laughs> Can you say it wasn't the sprinkler? The body analysis. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Shouldn't the whole body have been wet? No, they only got the top. Including the mouth down south. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I'm so sick of her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel you, Hina. Yeah, thanks, man. Kyoko's the only one without an alibi, which would mean that Mukuro's killer is Kyoko. <laughs> 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 I just like to say one thing. Is my hair pink or purple or white? Can you really tell? I like every time I think it's one color, it kind of feels like it's a different color. Yeah. God, you're right. It's like, like that it dress that's green and gold, but also black and blue or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? You got me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no. All right. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. What? Oh, I thought you liked me. 
Wait a second. Uh, does that mean we're not gonna have coffee later? All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. Yeah, I'm sure somebody thought that far ahead. Oh no, the sprinklers are gonna go off, and they're gonna know that it's gonna be that it was murdered before 7:30. I gotta put a tarp over it so the sprinkles will go, and then I'll take it off after the sprinklers have gone. That's <laughs> kinda how people operate in this game. Why, why would Kyoko say that? Did she... <laughs> Does she not want to make out with me anymore? <laughs> yeah. Did I say something wrong? After the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim. Ooh. What? Oh, oh did he chicken. kill one of the chickens? Killed one of the chickens. Chicken or rice? <laughs> rice chicken. Chicken blood? Yeah, now we're de now we've got two murders on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of which can be converted into delicious nuggets. There's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides the basis for so, my theory. Sometimes I sort of zone out and I just listen to the music and I imagine like some fucking like raver guy in the background with like Jenko <laughs> jeans, just like fucking with like glow sticks and shit. Just yeah, just doing the mind. swirlies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, am I interrupting something? <laughs> they wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off at 7.30. Okay. <laughs> He's just doing vocal warm-ups. <laughs> they already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They'd be done in no time. Maybe. Wait, still the coat over? As in rhymes with Makoto ver? <laughs> Shit, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. Now that you've got that brick in your face, what you gonna do with it? <laughs> I think that's the exact joke that you made when this scene happened before. I mean, how could it not? How could it not be? <laughs> we can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh man, I don't know if I want to make uh, the editors do this, because that shit's so buried, but if we get a Don Gon Ronpa style flashback for when you said <laughs> that, <laughs> that would be incredible. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? Stab Byakuya? We're gonna stab Byakuya, right? Well, you did put that brick in my face, so what am I gonna do with it? <laughs> I promise, if it happens again, five episodes from now, my brain will take me down the exact same <laughs> avenue. I couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. This is this is a flashback of this scene number 78, I think? 78, 79? Okay, yeah, sure. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! Um, we did. Pretty extensively. We've been... yeah. Doing almost nothing but that. It was like... One minute ago! <laughs> Time for a flashback. <laughs> he sta- oh, it, uh, he stabbed her twice- oh, okay. No, you're wrong and I can prove it. Looks like I just embarrassed myself in front of everyone. Oh, I fucked it up? Oh, now they're gonna think I'm a murderer and a dork. <laughs> I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but- Oh. What's the deal with that explosion anyway? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is this a high school or like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go back to the beginning. When I came out of the womb, am I really proving that it wasn't an atomic, spontaneous combustion? Is that what we're proving right now? Yeah, yeah. Just like we had to prove that Kyoko wasn't also the murder victim or the killer. <laughs> like they literally wrote in a character that was so stupid that so that they could use all this evidence to prove dumb, obvious shit. I love it. Why is Byakuya like smirking or anything? Mm -hmm. mm. oh, I'm apart. doing tiny things with my finger. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's adjusting his bow tie. <laughs> and Toko's like, I don't know how to use this bong. <laughs> we need to determine what ultimately killed the victim. I need to concentrate. Well, why don't you work in the mean, orange juice factory? Fucking, what didn't kill the victim at this point? <laughs> yeah. She was stabbed, hung, shot, exploded, and she probably had a wasting disease. <laughs> so what was Stop it? drooling. <laughs> Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the... It's <laughs> got <laughs> fucking Byakya. He never knows shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's always like, I figured it out completely. Why don't you tell them? <laughs> 
since you're so smart. And folds his hands and huffs. Lucaro was okay. hit in the back of the head with something. And that's what killed him. Uh-huh. And that something was... Oh, that's right. There's a the duct tape was. The arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. <laughs> I've never been uh. to the dojo. Oh, okay. Well, that explains. Wait, what? You found her there. Yeah. Because we have proof, of course. Don't we, Makoto? Well, I mean, aside from the fact that we've had a conversation with her in the dojo. There's one more thing I need to ask her. <laughs> Will you marry me? Will you me? go out with me? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What'd you say? Will you marry me? Yeah, I said, will you go out with me? <laughs> I mean, of course. What were you doing there? I was watching you sleep. <laughs> you smell different when you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> I was just protecting you. <gasps> what? But she was protecting me? Th does that mean she. <laughs> <laughs> I need to change my pants. I need you alive. I want to I murder you myself. <laughs> Shit! Which would mean that Kyoko, she killed someone for me? Enough. The time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait. What, did she just have her bow and 16 arrows bundled together on her? Really? I think it's Biakia. But you should know better than anyone I Could be. Uh-oh. I'm wrong? I should know. Because she had given her room key to Biakia. Mm. Oh, dip. That's right! <laughs> did I shit myself? <laughs> he's, just, he's just got that look on his face. He kind of does like a little bounce and he's like, uh-oh. <laughs> There was a clear contradiction to what Kyoko just told us. An obvious lie. But this... Oh man, don't say it's obvious. This just isn't like her. To try and save That's herself. That's just gonna make me feel stupid. The mastermind's trap. The mastermind's trying to trap Kyoko? But what if that's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? Camera, please stabilize. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Chuck! <laughs> like, Chuck the cameraman is like, WHAT'S HAPPENING?! <laughs> I'M FLOATING AWAY! <laughs> I don't know, though. I honestly have no idea. Okay. Really? Yeah. Alright. I've made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here. Something that has to do with the Mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone. Or put the key in Kyoko's room. Except when I went off to make that big, wide, flat stinkum. <laughs> <laughs> Lucaro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead. And then we're thrown into a trial. And Kyoko even said, it's a trap the Mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be okay. Time's up! Oh, crap. Oh, really? Geez. Time's up? Whoa, that's a new drawing. What do you mean, time's up? There's no time's up. Since when have we- It's because you were late! So, we had to push back the start time! So then, it's time for voting time! Okay? Everyone, please vote! Oh, Using man. in front of you! Voting time? Voting time, <laughs> spinning the Open camera. Open up the doors and decide which of your friends will now die. <laughs> well done, straight A student. Aside from the fact that we don't know who the killer is, you really aced this trial. We don't have a- we didn't vote. Yeah, what the- what's happening? Oh, oh what the f- what? But, what just happened? But wouldn't it say not guilty because we didn't do it? Did we lose? What? Everyone- no, you're wrong! None of this makes any sense, this whole trial doesn't make any sense! It makes perfect sense! <laughs> it's the same as always, it's just like all the other class trials, and I'm gonna end it the same way. It's time for your heart-pounding, positively thrilling punishment! Wait, what? why do I... Kyoko! I know this is all my fault. What the f- what? It's punishment time! What is happening? Why? <laughs> oh. I don't understand. I guess we're gonna die. This sucks. Have kind of fun. Oh, crap. And, whoa. Oh! What? Alter Ego? What the fuck? Whoa! Oh shit! Alter Ego just saved us! Wait, maybe? Huh. Wee! Oh, this is awesome! Wee! Okay, this is not better! Alter Ego. Alter Ego? Is this some stupid virus from that stupid guy? He must have planted it when he invaded my network! Damn it all to hell! I don't believe this! The stupid virus is gone now, got it? And so is Makoto. 
Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, like a big, flat, wide stink him. But you're never gonna see him again! To waste away in a garbage spoon pit! In a way, that's an even better special punishment! I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you! Bring despair to the entire world! Anyway... God, I hope he dies soon. That's Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. There are, are two we... things you... <laughs> what? Are, are we having like a Doki Doki Literature Club reset of everything and... It, this is weird. Ah, uh, here we go. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. Uh, did, uh, did we come into like an early 2000s emo song? Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> yeah. As long as I know how to love, I know how to- okay. After making that <laughs> proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was... Crank one- go to sleep! My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. Except for the cranking. <laughs> Did something fall down over there? Something fell up- fell from up above. Did it fall down here? Maybe- All things fall from up above. <laughs> yeah. What could it have been? <laughs> what? A giant piece of trash? Rude. It's Kyoko. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. Yeah, cause she said something. It yeah. <laughs> a cup of noodles. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. Yes, and I know that you knew that I knew that you knew. <laughs> but even though I knew that you knew that I knew that you knew, I did nothing to help you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Next time on Get- No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's been like two minutes. <laughs> the reason I have to survive is so that I can do what I came to this school to do. And, survive. And what is that? <laughs> the thing that I came to this school to do is the thing that's most important. Okay, and what is that? <laughs> my survival. <laughs> <laughs> what? I made up my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason. <laughs> The, e even the even the buttons in the corner are like, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I fucking called that. Somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of this school and the mastermind, which is why I have to get them back. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? I don't remember. <laughs> there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? I just arbitrarily chose you. You seem like the least threatening. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm the ultimate detective! That's awesome! No shit. We, we, we made a joke about that yeah, earlier. Yeah. You had to find someone who? Well, it was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. The headmaster! Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. Holy crap! What? In other words... <laughs> I was separated from him as a child. No, no, I said what because out. I didn't actually hear you. What? Oh. <laughs> I was separated from him as a no, child. No, no, the first part. The part before that. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then what did you see in there? The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers dumped on the floor. The rug completely didn't match the curtains. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. They had no concept of feng shui. <laughs> you mean the mastermind, right? Not much of a mastermind if they don't know where to place an accent chair. <laughs> Everyone but you and me had an alibi, so then who did kill her? What I can say for sure is it was that damn Sasquatch. <laughs> the mastermind is directly involved. I could have become the victim? Yes. So, just so you know, I tried to save your life before I kind of almost led to your death. So, <laughs> you are welcome. This scene we flash back to a thousand times? Yeah. What is this, the 78th, 79th time? I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the god of death. My grandmother used to call it shining. <laughs> Remember this? I bet you don't. So all this would mean that whoever killed Mukuro is also the mastermind, right? I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. Well, do we ever have conclusive evidence about literally anything? I'm glad you asked. No. <laughs> A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. Just win, Ben. 
just one more bump. The identity of the other ultimate despair. <laughs> Not quite as catchy the second time around. Hell yeah. Aaron, we finished chapter five. Hey, on to chapter six. Chapter six, six is the last chapter, I 12. think. Twelve. No. <laughs> oh, well, all right.